Well, hi, good morning. Thanks so much for joining me in my shop. Oh boy, I've got a little bit of explaining to do here. Um, it's been a couple of days since I posted a video, and I'm usually doing one video a day or so. And uh, no videos for the last few days, but there's been lots of work going on in here. The thing is, absolutely nothing I've done in the last three, four hours on this radio has led to anything. So I, I'm just reticent to post videos of me just going around in circles. And, and all I've been trying to do is prove to myself that the IF in this radio is tuned to uh, 10.7 megahertz. That's all. That sounds like a pretty easy thing to do, but it has not. <laughs> it has not been. So um, the impression I'm left with at this point is that it is tuned to 10.7, and there really isn't much I can do with it anyway. Um, can't be sure of that. I won't go into the myriad of things that have happened. You can see the radio's back in the cabinet. Uh, that's just to support the radio chassis vertically so I can access the bottom and the top. That in itself has become a problem because you can't get your hands in here very well. I had to break tools in half to try to fit them in. But regardless of everything I've done, there's been no positive benefit. One of the things you can see, one of my last attempts was uh, based on a kind viewer uh, sending me a translated version of the German instructions. Um, here they are here. Thank you very much. That's from uh, Christian. I'm pretty sure he's in Germany too. And that brings me to another thing, just a little aside. There, a little aside. Um, a, a number of times over the years I've described myself as being similar to a mountain climber who wants to get to the top of the mountain on his own and that's one of the reasons why I don't avail myself of comments and stuff like that. I mean it's much more complicated than that when it comes to me reading comments and, and I, I do read some comments, I do reply to some, but it's certainly not a focus uh, for me at any time. Um, well a little bit of irony, uh, I was thinking more about my example of climbing to the top of the mountain and I realized no serious mountain climber climbs mountains on his own. He does his best to get up there on his own and maybe even help the guy next to him. But there are times where he may need help. And there are times where you cannot do it on your own. You simply can't. In the case of mountain climbing, like getting across uh, crevasses and things like that. And also just porting up all the materials. I don't want to get too far into the example. But let's just say and I've always been this way too. There is a point where I realize I'm not going up the hill. In fact, I'm even going down the hill. And, and I do reach out for help. Uh, I have some friends and some mentors and uh, a number of you send me emails that I uh, go back and forth with. Uh, but I tend to not fish through the comments. Uh, and again, I won't go into so long explanation for that. It's quite, it, it's quite a complicated thing from this side of the camera to, to read comments on stuff like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save myself some misery and create a whole new world of hurt by focusing on the stereo decoder. Uh, in this radio, um, it, uh, it's pretty clear that the stereo function is not working properly. And maybe I shouldn't say clear. Um, yeah, but, but it certainly appears to be not working uh, properly. Uh, for instance, when I'm tuned between stations, I'm pretty sure I'm hearing stereo. You, you know, one of the things I don't know about this radio is there is a manual stereo mono switch on the front. Lots of stereos have those things, but most or all modern stereos detect uh, a stereo signal and then basically switch on the decoder and produce stereo out of the speakers. Otherwise, the decoder is off and has no effect. If you try to stereoize a mono signal. I don't know how you would do that because you'd have to have a 19 kilohertz pilot to trigger everything. But if you had a radio which had a switch on it, and when you switch it, it starts doing stereo. And again, I'm not sure how that could happen with a 19 kilohertz. Um, you might have this radio. I don't know. Enough talk. So right away, I see a big problem with my plan. <laughs> I'm already off the rails. Decoders down here. Let's see how far I can. I can pull it about this far out. 
that's about as far as it's going to go. Maybe that's far enough. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to be stuck taking the radio back out of the cabinet here. Oh my gosh. What does going downhill look like? Uh, it's not an easy thing getting that out of there. Um, okay, so obviously i got to think a little more before I... Oh, man. It's a beautiful day today, too. I don't want to spend too much time down here. Wow, I, I stopped the video recording there to get ready to, to take the chassis out and I had a stroke of good luck here. But what I've done is I've simply pulled the chassis back and then screwed it in with the back of it sticking out. Sticking out. This has solved so many problems. I cannot begin to list them. But the big one is I actually get tools down into here. You, you see like it's when it's back in the cabinet, it's it's you can't really see, you can't do anything, but now, now I have clear access to these. Even though I'm not going to do anything with the IF, I'm going to continue looking at this. Um, you know, what? This. So, I'm gonna, at the very least, I'm going to pick up a lot of familiarity with, with this unit heat shield back off. I put that back on earlier. It's quite a number of things I did during those hours that uh, uh, including uh, shop changes. Uh, for instance, I, uh, I had a second isolation transformer I wasn't utilizing. It's now driving my uh, scope over here. So, so the work on my bench, this radio, is plugged into an isolation transformer. And so is the scope. The rest of my equipment is just plugged into the wall with either a two-prong polarized, two-prong non-polarized, or three-prong plug. So uh, well, this is an assortment of things going on in my shop. But for now, I've removed the ground for the scope. And the reason for that was I wanted to introduce the scope into the internals of the radio and place the scope ground somewhere other than the chassis. And that's a very, very risky thing to do in a semi-ungrounded, sort of grounded, half-grounded shop. So, okay, now, stereo decoder. Um, I did get an opportunity, I don't know, I, th I, think, I think it's on the last video I posted, um, where you can see that there's no channel separation, as I was feeding in a left channel tone, a right channel tone, and there's just no separation at all. So, uh, this guy, he's got one, two, three, and of course underneath. Yeah, this is better this way, isn't it? And of course, we've got to get up on the other half of the transformers in here. And then it's got one, two, three adjustments here. And uh, without having studied it too carefully, I believe these two adjust the channel separation but I don't know for sure I think that's the extent of the adjustments three resistors three you know, all these holes they just go nowhere they, they're just there they're just designed to take a person like me and confuse them I don't see any uh, problems here at all, like uh, burnt parts or anything. Uh, there's quite a number of diodes right through there. Look at them all. There's a lot going on in here. Um, so, aside from just getting in there and starting to twiddle, I think I'm going to have to read a little German here for a few minutes and then. Uh, then I guess we'll start the radio up, um, set it up so we can drive one channel only and listen to it and then fiddle. Here's another adjustment right here. Looks like, yeah, there's a slug in this coil. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 things to adjust. And hopefully that, that's all it requires. So yeah, time, time to read some German here. Just me. I'm not going to drag you through it. 
Oh boy, well I think I've jumped out of the IF pan and into the decoder fire. Um, so I've read over the German instructions. Uh, I can I can spot you know numbers and things like that like anybody could. You can kind of extract a little bit of what they're saying. Um, but uh, from what I can read and also in this other write-up I found on the internet, the requirement to adjust this is to feed a as I understand it, as best I can understand it, a modulated FM stereo signal into the radio with one channel carrying a 7.5 kilohertz audio signal and the other channel carrying an 8.5 kilohertz signal. Why they want that I don't exactly know. That I, I, I can't really imagine it. But throughout the instructions lower down it talks a lot about one kilohertz which is the difference between those two signals and adjust this and adjust that and uh, yikes I don't think there's any way I can produce that kind of test signal in here uh, you know I have the equipment I have I don't have uh, you know uh, this isn't a Normandy repair shop here with Normandy equipment of all sorts uh, so um, bum, bum, bum. now how bad can I do here let's see there's no there appears to be no real stereo decoding going on I could just do the twiddling thing, could study the schematic here and try to deduce what approach I should take for what. Um, I don't think that's out of the question. I mean, just looking at the circuit with my eyes, what I, I see these two cans here have very similar componentry underneath it. So that suggests to me this is a left and this is a right, uh, or the other way around. This one, it's all by itself over here. Um, it suggests to me it's doing something in, in common with the signal. I, I'm sure if I study the schematic a bit, I can build up enough nerve to turn these controls and uh, and pay the penalty for working on a radio without following the instructions verbatim. Okay, back to the schematic here. I'm going to study it for a bit. Okay, so or this is the decoder circuit board that's hanging out of the radio right now. That's the one tube that's in it right here. And we can see some of the cans already. Uh, this is one can. This is another transformer can. These are the ones we're looking at that I said are probably left and right. I'm not sure that's true. And over here, this is a can here. So this is where the decoding is actually occurring in amongst these diodes. Uh, down here a 19 kilohertz pilot signal that's a component of the composite FM signal must be picked off and doubled somehow, doubled up to 38 kilohertz. You know that could be a problem right there. Maybe it's not generating the 38 kilohertz. And the 38 kilohertz is used to switch the uh, channels back and forth or decode them depending upon how you want to think about these things and out comes stereo so this plugs carrying in the composite and out the left and right out of here and probably carrying in the heater heater uh, current here that's the story so now in, in testing this thing I should probably try to identify if a 38 kilohertz signal is really here and we could we could start I'll bet you this is supposed to be 19 kilohertz here not a word said um, it's probably 19 uh, well, this is going right in here isn't it This little guy here, his output is heading. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Just you know, call me clueless. I really don't know what's going on here, but I know on the higher level for sure. There's a 19 kilohertz coming in here. It's being doubled up to 38 and applied to these diodes. That I can understand. So, assumably, yeah, the lack of stereo has nothing to do with anything else in the radio but just here. That's probably a fairly reasonable assumption. So, 
So I think we really got to go looking for the 19 kilohertz and see if we can find it. Okay, that'll be the plan. That means we gotta switch this guy on and get them all going again. Microphone is laying up against the chassis here. That's not so good. Like that. I don't want the metal of this microphone touching the chassis. Okay. Uh, I think we're all set to turn this guy on. Turn on the uh, turn them on. It's got to warm up a bit. Anyway, make sure the volume's down. Oh, I got to reach way inside now. Okay, so volume's about ten percent. So we're going to want the output of the FM uh, signal generator, the wobulator. Um, you know what? This was pretty. I just <laughs> a couple things I discovered in my shop. I don't even need to hook this up to the radio. This is putting out enough signal. It's being picked up by the antenna. That's good enough for a lot of things. Here, number two, um, the the toughest one, the one, the thing I discovered last which made me just abandon all hope was this lead which is going across my shop and up into a frequency counter you can't see I'm, I'm not using this one right now my problem counter is acting up so I'm using the other frequency counter this wire has a strong signal on it to drive the counter this wire radiates signals right into the radio I had no idea that was happening the whole time I was working on this thing so could be a lot of the weirdness was from that. I discovered that by uh, working on the radio, looking over and seeing that I hadn't connected this lead to the output of the frequency generator here. Yet it was coming through loud and clear on the radio. So lots of tough lessons to learn here. And uh, you know, it's all about high frequency. Uh, high frequency doing a lot more stuff here than the typical stuff you get in a regular AM radio. Okay, this is certainly warmed up. Um, now, get some sound. I'm going to don the headphones here. to the radio uh, through the uh, through my sound system directly. Okay, so the dial is on one hundred. Adjust the output frequency of the signal generator until we hear it here. What was I saying about I didn't need to hook it up?
Okay. Okay, so I have the uh, tone, uh, the volume balanced using my microphone mixer. It doesn't mean it's balanced coming out of the radio. I may have compensated for it, but you do look, these are at the same height. So that's somewhat reassuring. Both channels are producing a, a similar level. Now, I'm going to send a left channel only signal. So in my ears, it, ju it just went down. And a right channel only. So I'm going to make sure that stereo button is pushed. Or I'm going to do another hour of work and then realize, whoops, let's see, there we go, stereo. Okay, nice big pop. That's good. Try that again. Okay, well, I'm still putting in a left channel only signal. Right channel only. And mono. So, I, I, I hear no channel separation difference at all. 38 kilohertz. Um, the best way to find 38 kilohertz down here would be to put it on the scope or 19 or 38 and go looking for it. on full power too. Ooh, bit of a change, eh? see something I'm not doing quite right with my mixer. Let me, let me change this out. There, we shouldn't have the radio volume up either. So, let me change this arrangement here. this driving the microphone input because I hadn't noticed a switch here for microphone and line. Okay, so now we're using the line input which is much more satisfactory. Okay, again, according to my view meters that's balanced. I'm talking about actually the meter up on my video here. I keep an eye on. Okay. Are we getting anywhere? Let's try again, left and right channel. Okay, so that was left, right, left, and back to mono. Certainly doesn't seem to be doing any channel separation. Now, which of these would we fiddle with first? Nothing. First, we got to find out if there's a 19 here and a 38 with the scope. Now, if I was the designer of this, this is a very highly designed radio, I would arrange.
arrange this so a guy like me can find test points easily on it. And I would label those test points. And I would put them where they're accessible. And it'd be down in this area. Of course, this whole thing's normally in a can. Well, I'm not the designer of this radio. <laughs> so, could just go poking around. It's got to be coming in on one of these wires. And we're all heading up into this can here. Let's jump to the schematic here for a second. Okay, so they're coming in on these wires. So one of these wires, one of these actual wires has it on it. Uh, that plugs into here. Or is this gener This is so the 19 kilohertz. So maybe the composite signal is coming down here. The whole shebang, of course. Somehow they filter out the 19. I think the top of this guy should have 38 on it. 38 right here. Plate is 6. I think we can get it. Uh, let's take a look at the plate. Hey, look at the grid and the plate. 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Yeah, wires everywhere. Okay, so 6 and 7. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven. So six is right here. This is on AC. On uh, one volt. There's what we got. a little diving board for my camera here. Okay, bear with me while I just fix the focus on that camera. Touch that same uh, contact again. Pin six. Got me as to what that is. Pin seven. some other slots here.
Hmm. That looks like it's got something on it here. Should make sure the 19 kilohertz pilot is coming out of this guy here. Um, that's 19 gone. 19 back. I can change the level of it. Hey, I hear stereo coming and going here. So I put the 19 way high. Yeah, listen. Huh. So th this decoder is decoding. Let me, let me, uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. let me take the scope off here. I'll set the night. I'll use the. Uh, There's a way to calibrate the 19 here. This needle needs to come up all the way to here, and it just won't do it. So. Don't know why. You have another way to get 19 kilohertz into this radio 19 here but you know what there's no there's no program information to here so that's not going to help us <laughs> yeah, I just it's just too I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing exactly but I can't so that, that's good news. That just means it looks like week 19 is the reason why um, this thing may not be producing stereo. To get strong enough signal into this decoder, it seems to do the job. So we got to tune in a regular uh, FM station here again and listen to it. Maybe I've been fooled all this time. Or maybe somehow this thing got fixed <laughs> just just from being monkey with I don't think so okay now This crude is down to 71.10 a barrel. The loony tied to the energy sector is down to 7.70 U.S. Mm -hmm. Sports. The Washington Capitals shut out the Tampa Bay Lightning 4 nothing last night in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final to advance to the Stanley Cup Final. So the Caps will now face the Vegas Golden Knights with Game 1 on Monday. The uh, Blue Jays' bullpen faltered in the ninth inning last night as the Los Angeles Angels came back. Said our 
their daughters against their will. Now this week, a woman named Faith Rogers announced she is suing Mr. Kelly, whom she accuses of sexual battery, false... Certainly a stereo. A stereo. stereo. Mm, Fifteen or sixteen. Faith Rogers was nineteen at the time. Her allegations are just the. Oh my God. I guess you know. I just keep looking for stuff that's wrong with this radio, and it turns out there's nothing wrong with it. So. Why I thought there was no stereo coming out of this thing before, you know, it could be as simple as I failed to push this button. It could be that this thing does not trigger on a 19 kilohertz. It's dependent upon somebody switching it on. That might even explain why sometimes it sounds like stereo between stations with just noise. Because with this button on. So what, what am I chasing down here now? Hey. I don't know, this is getting better <laughs> getting better all the time. Um, hmm. Okay. There we go.